Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, Microsoft rolled out the latest Insider Preview Build 26241 to the Canary Channel Insiders. And this latest build didn't have too many front-facing features. In fact, the only real kind of new feature is the drag and drop support that's been added to the File Explorer where you can um, move your mouse between breadcrumbs um, which is available in the File Explorer address bar and that feature has already made its way into the stable so that's why I didn't post on the latest Canary Channel board because over and above that it just contains fixes and a couple of known issues but although th there wasn't too much happening in this week's Canary Channel build um, there is a new hidden feature that's been spotted once again by Phantom of Earth over on X. And basically what it is, it lets you turn off HDR to conserve energy because as you may well know, um, HDR displays can take up a lot of and use a lot of power. And HDR, in case you're unaware, just a quick recap, stands for High Dynamic Range and refers to a technique that expresses details in content in both very bright and very dark scenes. So basically you need the, re the relevant hardware to be able to support high dynamic range and obviously that's on a, a HDR monitor. Now the hidden feature is this setting. So if we head over to a screenshot provided, here we can see uh, in s on the system power energy recommendations page, turn off HDR to conserve energy. So um, this may be a nice move in the right direction, especially uh, if you are, as an example, using a laptop. I think this could help you to save your battery. But nonetheless, that's a hidden feature. And um, I think that could be beneficial for users who have the necessary hardware and obviously a monitor that does support HDR. And that's a hidden feature in the Canary channel. So at this stage, um, hidden features may, ever, may not ever see the light of day. And they are code that Microsoft could be testing internally and haven't enabled yet in um, the actual OS. But um, a lot of these hidden features, as you may well know, um, do make it into official testing and some of them even make it down to the stable. But if I get any more info, like always, I'll keep you guys posted if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.